Hi, today I'm going to show you how to knit this honeysuckle design hat. This is honeysuckle design hat part two. I'm going to show you how to knit bigger version. Okay, I already knitted it uh, extra small and small size. But again, today I want to show you how to knit medium to large size. So uh, please go down to my description box. There's the written pattern. Okay, and there's the, uh, the yarn information and the needle information as well. Extra small and small size, you have to repeat uh, row number one to row number 16, as many as you want. Okay, I did uh, repeat it twice, then start decreasing. Okay, this is the extra small, same thing. Repeat of row number one to row number 16 twice, then start decreasing. However, uh, this video, I'm going to uh, repeat row number one to row number 16 twice, then I wanna add a little bit more row, okay, because you know, depend on me at the yarn and sizes. Sometimes you want to add a little bit more, right? So I'm going to add uh, row number one to row number seven, then start decreasing row. So I'm going to add seven more rows, okay? So even though you're using different yarn, you know, you can adjust the length of the hat. Okay, I'm adding seven more row, then start decreasing. Okay, so it's really up to you which uh, pattern you want to use. Okay, the reason why I am making this video because I really like this pattern. So I was gonna knit one for my husband, but if I use the same yarn. You know, the repeat twice is a little bit, you know, short. But if I repeat three times, it's too long. So I decided, you know, to maybe knit halfway to adjust the length. And I want to add a little bit more information about the, uh, the transition from row number 16 to row number 1. Okay, so this is row number 16. Okay, knit until one last stitch before the marker and left twist. Okay, it's a little bit complicated here. Okay, so I want to explain it to you a little bit more detail. Okay, there we go. And one last stitch left. Okay, before the marker and what I'm going to do is left twist with one stitch before the marker and one stitch after the marker. So pick one stitch, remove the, uh, the marker, then left stitch. But you have to watch this video very carefully, okay? Put the needle in the second stitch from the back like that okay then knit one okay knit one then you put the marker back you know why right there you go this is middle of the left twist okay then put the needle into the two stitch then knit one there we go I'm going to show you one more time. By the way, 
the reason why I'm doing this, you know, showing you row 16, that's because in my previous video, it was maybe tough to understand. So I just want to make sure about it. So how to knit from row number one to row number 15, please watch my previous video. And you probably understand in, you know, my previous video. If not, just come back. Okay, so knit until one last stitch before the marker and the one before the marker and after the marker, you have to do the left, uh, left twist. First of all, knit second stitch from the back. Okay. There you go. Knit one there. Then before you go, next, you have to put the, uh, the marker back. There you go. Then, put the right needle into the uh, two stitch and knit one. Then drop off the uh, two stitches from the uh, left needle. Okay? And this is the uh, old way. Okay? If it's very complicated for you to put the uh, the the marker in, you know, middle of the uh, the uh, making left twist. This is the way for you. Okay, so just knit until one last stitch, same as before, and then pick one, remove the marker, and do the left twist complete first. Okay. There we go. Then in between those two left twist stitch, you have to put the, uh, the marker back. But you have to have this pin type of the uh, marker. Otherwise, you can't do that. Make sense? Okay. And I want to show you one more thing. That's the last 16 stitch of the row number 16. It's going to be same. However, at the very beginning of the row number one, it's a little bit different. Okay. And I already show you in my previous video, but I just want to make sure about this. Okay. Because it's a little bit tricky there. So, Let's finish row number 16, which is same as before, okay? And for me, um, I'm using just a regular, you know, marker for begin marker. So I have to, you know, do the uh, tricky, you know, marker thing. Okay, there you go. One last stitch, pick up, remove the uh, begin marker. Put the stitch back and left twist. And after you make knit one, I'm gonna put the uh, my begin marker in. Then finish the uh, left twist. Then you gotta see this. Okay, you already knit one stitch of row number one, right? But I need that stitch because row number one is repeat of left twist right so you want to take this stitch back onto the left needle then it's a little bit awkward but forget about that just start left twist there you go left twist Then knit 12. To finish this, you know, the uh, the 16 stitch, you have to make the uh, uh, right, uh, right twist. Okay. And in next batch, next 16 stitch, you don't have to worry about, you know, the take the, uh, the one stitch back and all that. You don't have to just the, the beginning of the uh, row number one. It's a little bit tricky, okay? So 
please make sure about it. I'm actually showing you. This is end of the uh, the first 16 stitch. There we go. I just made the uh, the right twist. Then slide the marker. Then just a regular left twist. Okay. So from the uh, the row number 16 to row number one, at the very beginning, you have a little bit, you know, tricky moment. That's it. Okay. Then again, this is the uh, longer version. So after I repeated row number one to row number 16 twice, that's, you know, 32 rows, I add seven more rows, which is row number one to row number seven. Okay. Then Okay, maybe I'm gonna start decreasing. Okay, the the blue hat is for my husband. There you go. That's that's enough. But if I repeat one more row number one to row number sixteen, it's gonna be way too long, right? So stop on the at the end of the row number seven. So kind of two and a half repeat right you know what i'm saying then decrease row starts then this decreasing pattern is completely different than you know previous one that's very obvious anyway so decreasing row number one knit seven you have to watch the video okay knit seven then right twist this is first 16 stitch okay then there you go knit six okay then you have to do the uh, knit two together which is one decrease and you gotta watch this okay one stitch left before the marker so again pick up remove the marker put the stitch back then knit two together there then put the uh, marker back not in the middle obviously because this is not the right twist or left twist this is knit two together there's no mid okay so after the knit two together put the, the marker back now you have to repeat knit six instead of knit seven because you took one stitch to make the uh, knit two together right so from here repeat of knit six then right twist knit six then knit two together, right? This is right twist and knit six, which means one stitch left before the marker. So you know what to do, right? Pick up one stitch, remove the marker, put it back, then knit two together. After knit two together, put the marker back, okay? That's how you do it, okay? Don't move your marker or anything. So again, you have to repeat. The bracket means you have to repeat until you hit the, uh, the uh, begin marker. And I just want to make sure at the very last batch, okay? You still have to do the knit two together um, with one stitch before the begin marker and one stitch after the begin marker. Okay? Then mark the begin marker shift. But don't worry, that's the way I want it. Okay? So let's see. There we go end of the row decreasing row number one 
one stitch, pick up, remove the uh, uh, begin marker, there we go, and knit it together, then put the begin marker back, okay? There we go. Then now, decreasing row number two. Same deal. I don't really have to explain, but knit five, then right twist. There you go. Right twist. Sometimes it's a little bit tight, but just take your time. Okay? Right twist, then left twist. After left twist, knit five, then knit two together. Again, you know, one before the marker and after the marker. Those two stitch you have to make knit two together. There you go. So same deal as before. Okay. You put the marker back after the knit two together. Okay. There you go. And then from the second batch, you have to use the pattern what's in the bracket, which is starting with knit four instead of knit five. Okay. I'm going to put all the written pattern in my description box, but you probably um, want to see my video to make sure about this you know the marker thing okay because if you make mistake you have to start all over pretty much because design would be you know a little bit different right has to be looks like a diamond shape okay so there you go that's knit two together, then put the marker back after the knit two together, okay? Then decreasing row number three is very easy, okay? Decreasing row number three, repeat off, knit three, right twist, Knit two, left twist, knit three, then knit two together before the marker, this time. There you go, that's two. So it's very straightforward on decreasing row number three, okay? This is decreasing row number four. I don't really have to explain. You just follow my written instruction, okay? And if you really want to know the uh, the detail detail like you know how to do the uh, right twist or left twist stuff like that you have to go uh, watch the uh, my honeysuckle design hat number one okay there is all the detail there and this is just the additional explanation uh, for row number 16 to row number one also you know different sizes okay i add additional seven row so which means obviously um decreasing pattern you know will be changed This is decreasing row number five. Very straightforward because knit two together with some, 
you know, the uh, markers, you know, not the overwrapping thing, okay? So this is repeat off, uh, right twist, knit six, then left twist. After the left twist, you have to make knit two together, one decrease, okay? I'm doing left twist right now, then knit two together before the marker. So you just have to repeat with some bracket, okay? The diamond shape is now getting smaller and smaller. And next row, decreasing row number six, you really have to watch my video, okay? Okay, there you go. Decreasing row number six, remove the uh, biggie marker because I need to borrow one stitch from the last stitch, okay? There you go. Remove the uh, biggie marker and borrow one stitch in previous row, right? Then make right twist, okay? Knit one, then wait a second. I have to put the begin marker there. Then let's finish the right twist, which is put in the middle of the two stitch, then knit one then drop two stitch off, that's the right twist. Then knit eight, after knit eight, just a regular left twist, okay? There you go. You really have to be careful with this decreasing row number six. Okay, then, there you go, you got to repeat, remove the marker, borrow one stitch, then right knee, uh, right twist, sorry, then put the marker back, then complete right twist. There you go. Then knit eight. You have to keep doing this. Okay? And decreasing row number seven is very straightforward. Repeat off. Knit four. Knit two together. Knit three. And left twist. Very straightforward. And after this, it's easy. So, you know, pretty much, pretty much end. Okay? Decreasing row number 8 to row number 10 is knit two together. I say decreasing row number 10 is optional, right? Because depend on the, you know, the cast you made at the very beginning, okay? So if you made the, the over 96 cast, I think you should do decreasing row number 10. Okay, it all depends. Then after, you know, enough decreasing row, you know, you cut the, uh, the yarn using the uh, tapestry needle, then just weave off. Okay, that's about it. Again, you know, if you watch this video before my previous honey sacco design hat. Maybe, you know, you don't understand at all. So, if that's the case, please go to my, you know, the honey sacco design hat 
number one video then if you need seven more row you know in longer version come back okay also if you don't understand you know transition from row number 16 to row number one please come back and watch this video okay on top of the hat with this particular yarn looks so nice looks like a flower then the the head of the the hat looks so nice honeysuckle diamond shape this red one looks big but it's not you know the, the red one is only 80 cast like you know the new one cast 96 so definitely the one I just needed it is bigger okay so this is it if you have any question leave the comment below okay that's about it enjoy knitting and after this you know you can probably see a little you know size difference okay bye for now